Hey everyone, it's Nick. Today I want to show you something really awesome, which is a gold rail duplicator. Now, the problem with duplicators is that it's using a game mechanic that is not intended to work that way, so it's your decision to consider this a cheat or not, but I'm definitely gonna use it, and if you don't feel like using it, I'm gonna show you anyway, and then maybe I can convince you to use it though, because, I mean, you could collect the gold for it, but... Let's be honest here, who likes collecting gold for powered rails, which you're just gonna put on the ground and have really no use other than boosting your minecart. So anyway, let's check this out. We have two sticky pistons facing uh, different ways, two rails right here and some redstone which is running into this comparator which is hooked up next to a redstone block. And um, if we switch this on, It'll create a clock and the pistons will go crazy and we can just start out with our one powered rail You can see I have nothing else in my inventory and um, We can just place it right here and you can see that there's two powered rails right here So now we can lay down one more time and We can go on and on and on and just keep holding it down and the um, tracks will just come flying towards us And we can do that for only let's say three more seconds. So one two, three, and stop. Okay, let's turn this off by just flicking it once again. And we can collect the rest down here and we've already got 38 rails out of only one powered rail that we needed to craft, which is really, really awesome and it's fairly easy to build as well. So let's take a look at how to build this. You need a setup that looks like this. Uh, the coal blocks represent the blocks that the pistons have to be on. And the first one needs to go right here and the second one right here. So there's three blocks and one block to the side in between it so you can easily follow. That's uh, the, the schematic you have to follow, I guess. Now let's place down some tracks right here. We also need a hole underneath this piston right there. And then we can simply wire it up. Uh, it doesn't have to be this exact order of the wires, but they have to be facing directly into the piston. They uh, cannot be like on a block or something. They have to be directly in there because of some um, weird directional glitches. I don't know what it is. Just do it like this and you'll be good. And then you can put your redstone comparator, place one redstone on the side so it's forming this circle, and then a power source at the back. Doesn't have to be blocks of redstone, can also be maybe a lever. Let's place that there and, and it will do the same thing. Just right click it and it'll do the clock for you. And now we can test it out. Just put down your powered rails right here and it'll duplicate them. As you can see, we just place one. And there's two that came out of it so it's fairly easy and fairly cool as well so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up because that helps me out tremendously and if you shared this video also that would help me even more and my english is stupid today so i'm gonna cut this video here and i will see you next time goodbye Turn it up.